What is up guys, Little Dog Dog here. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of the new minigame, Shattered World. Uh, so this introduces quite a few things and uh, brings some quality of life back to the game so you're not just focusing on microtransactions. So uh, this brings about a new currency called Anima. You get this by playing the minigame and completing challenges in the minigame. Um, it's used to purchase rewards from the reward shop and these rewards include new sigils, new abilities, pets, um, slayer masks, and more including things like cosmetic overrides. To get to the minigame, all you have to do is go to the Lumbridge Swamp. This is just south of the Lumbridge Crater. Um, you can see they added a whole new building in for this minigame. And you just have to go here and step through one of the portals to begin the minigame. So before you go there, you might be just asking yourself, what even is this minigame? Um, it's a wave-style combat minigame that gets harder as you progress. So um, the first 10 worlds you're going to be facing, like level 15 um, foes and you'll be given these modifiers as you go through these worlds that can make it easier or more difficult so there um, can be modifiers that give you vampirism um, so that when you deal damage you gain a little bit of health back um, and there can be modifiers that um, make the enemies more difficult to defeat um, so that that can be part of the challenge um, there's also three challenges a week for extra anima uh, there's a bronze a silver and a gold challenge I'll show you these later in the video, but the bronze challenge is rather easy this week. It's just you have to complete five waves. Silver challenge is a little harder. You have to defeat a certain amount of enemies with a certain modifier, and so is the gold. Now from the minigame start, you're going to see two portals here. The portal on the left just starts you with a regular uh, match. You can choose what floor you want to start on if you've progressed. And the, floor on the, or on the portal on the right is going to bring you to the challenges. Now you can see there's an option to feed you, and there's an option to, bring you, uh, to give you gear. Um, and that's if you don't want to bring your own, you don't want to bring your own food, it will supply you with those things. I brought my own just because I know I have good gear. And here you're going to have your three uh, mutators to choose from when you start. So there's Vampiric, as you can see, Blood Money and Feeling Pumped. They each have their own benefits, but I end up choosing Blood Money for the extra anima. Now I am going to speed this up a bit just to show you uh, going through the floors what this looks like. Um, all you have to do on the floors is kill 75% of the monsters. Um, to be able to progress to the next floor. It's pretty simple, it's just combat, and all you have to do is walk through. Once you've got it, there'll be a trail on the floor directing you to the portal to go to the next floor. Now, once you've completed five floors, um, you're gonna be put into a reward room where you can either choose to take your reward or you can continue fighting to try and get a better reward. Um, in the chest at the end, you have a chance of getting the pet that you can also buy and just uh, anima. Um, you're guaranteed the anima, however you are not guaranteed the pet. If you do try to open the chest, it's going to give you a warning, and the right portal is the one you go to progress through. You get to choose another modifier, and then you continue. I only went through the first 10 worlds, so my reward was not that great. I will, however, show you the reward I got from completing the uh, silver challenge. I complete the bronze challenge throughout this actual portion here, um, so you don't have to specifically go to do the challenge to complete it. That challenge was just the first five worlds, so that was easy to complete while I was in an instance. However, challenges are easier in their own instances. So there is a game, um, sort of just for extra anima. After I kill all these guys, I'll show you. I just slowed it down a little bit here so uh, I could explain it. So you can see there's a fountain over here. All you do is click on it, and it's going to make all these ghosts attackable. Um, you have to kill as many ghosts as you can before time runs out, and that little bar above the fountain is going to fill up, and it gave me a whole bunch of extra anima. And that was just uh, a small part. I'm sure this, there, there will be a lot of those. I might even have missed them on some floors. Um, but as you progress through, you're going to um, gain your anima. Even if you don't have blood money on, you will still get anima. Blood money is the perk that allows you to get anima when you kill um, the monsters. It just You just don't get it dropped as fast. So this is what your average run is going to look like as you progress through the floors. Uh, I'm not going to show you the reward chest, but I will um, get to the challenges and then the rewards next. So just like I said, there are bronze, silver, and gold challenges here. Once again, you can use your presets and choose your equip me or feed me options. I chose the gold uh, option, the gold challenge option, because I thought I was pretty tough. Turns out I'm not. Don't worry, Iron Man is a safe minigame. The blue portal is going to take you back to Gilanor. The right portal is going to take you back into that challenge. Unless you completed the challenge, you don't get a chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the red portal, select a challenge, and I'm going to try and do the silver challenge. Select start, 
and this one's a little easier for me at level 107. They're just level um, 40 to 50 spiders that have a special modifier. Now this is where I said early in the beginning of the video that the modifiers can play against you rather than for you. So these monsters had a modifier that made them shoot off balls that you can see now that uh, freeze you. So you have to click away from them. It's not too tough, um, but it is. it, it can be annoying because it stuns you and stops you from moving altogether. You can't cast any spells or anything. So if you're low level, make sure you're using your prayers. I use my prayers here, but I didn't need them. Um, it was it was unnecessary and you only have to you don't have to complete the entire floor You do have to kill 75% to get through the floor, but you might not kill 75% completing the challenge so the challenge was to kill 50 of the monsters with that modifier and um, I Don't think I killed 75% before I completed the challenge You can see it in my dialogue box at the bottom when I do complete the challenge It gives me 500,000 bonus anima. What a great time for my neighbor to vacuum, huh? Now for the bronze challenge, I only got 10,000 bonus anima, so it's safe to assume for the gold challenge, you get a bunch of bonus anima. So yeah, you can see it in my dialogue box there that I completed it, and then I got the 75%, and uh, as tough as it was with all the balls, the frozen balls shooting around, um, it, was, it was tough to get out. So yeah, all you do is exit, and I got my 502,000 anima. Now I decided to go try the gold challenge again, because I was ready for it this time, and uh, I still didn't last very long I lasted a little longer but once they all teamed up on me I started dying and you can see I chose the feed me option it gave me some cooked chicken but I died now the most notable rewards from this are going to be the sigils um, the um, abilities and the pet um, as well as the slayer masks which you can finally buy in game without having to use microtransactions or be lucky enough to get them the treasure hunter so to start with the sigils um, there are three, the Sigil of Slaying, the Ferocious Sigil, and the Aggression Sigil. Um, you get 10% more Slayer XP when activated for 30 seconds with the Sigil of Slaying, and this is a 60 second cooldown. Um, you have the Ferocious Sigil, um, which makes Curdle Dungeon NPCs instantly respawn on death for 30 seconds. Um, this will be good for when you're just trying to grind out those Slayer assignments with uh, just AoE and th them down. Uh, this also is a 60 second cooldown, and then you have your Aggression Sigil. Um, which immediately forces nearby monsters to attack you, um, and you can use this once every 20 seconds. Each of these abilities costs 45 million anima each, which might sound like a lot, and it might take you a while to get, but you receive anima pretty quickly from doing the minigame, and I can't see this taking you too long to receive these. Now, in terms of the abilities you get, there is a melee attack and a ranged attack that you can receive from this minigame. Um, these each cost 63 million anima each, um, and the first one is Bladed Dive. This is a um, special ability that requires 65 attack. It's a dual wield ability and it's just a basic attack so it doesn't require any uh, adrenaline. What, you, what it does is it leaps you towards your enemy or just any spot, dealing damage to your target and adjacent targets if there are any near it. So this is going to be a good AoE attack um, if you're trying to get a Slayer assignment done. If the target is killed within 3 seconds, um, your cooldowns reset. Which is nice, so that if you want to just jump around, if you can, if you find something you can kill fast enough, uh, you can just jump around uh, killing stuff. And then there is Salt the Wound, which is a 60 range threshold ability, so it's going to take 50% of your uh, adrenaline. It deals 188% of your weapon damage, plus 18% for each stack of punctured. And upon purchase of this ability, it upgrades your Dazing Shot attack to apply Punctured, which stacks up to 10 times and deals damage over time to your target. When you use this ability, it's also going to refresh the time on Punctured, meaning that you'll have those damage over times staying on longer. So just quickly, I'm going to show you uh, the reward shops themselves here. These are located in the southwestern corner of the Lumberd Swamp. Um, it's just the Shattered Worlds Reward Shop. It has a Quartermaster. So you can see the sigils and the abilities are here on the first page, as well as the Abyssal Knight's Armor Override. And then you can get an Abyssal Slayer Contract and a huge Slayer XP lamp for use inside the Abyssal minigame. Um, the Slayer Contract is 500,000 anima. The Slayer XP lamp is 4 million anima. And the Override is 27 million. And then the second tab is the pets. Um, these each have tiers, and this is the pet that's also available from the chest during the game. Um, you can buy it and upgrade the tiers. I'm not sure if you can buy um, tier 9 and it'll go all the way to tier 9, or if you have to buy tier 1, then tier 2, then tier 3. That's, I'm not sure about that. I'm just going to be really clear about that so you guys know now, and uh, we'll have to find out in the future. 
And then we have the first page of the two pages of Slayer Masks. I'm just showing these so you know how much they are. They're all different prices depending on what tasks you're going to get from um, using these masks. The better the task, the more expensive uh, the mask itself is going to be. If you're not familiar with what a Slayer Mask does, well, when you go to get a task from a Slayer Master, if you have this mask on, you are guaranteed to get a task um, specific to that monster. So if you were wearing the Mask of the Dagonoth, which is 63 million anima, um, you're guaranteed to get a Dagonoth task, so you can go kill those Dagonoth kings on task, or just go kill some Dagonoths. Uh, you can see um, the second page, they just get more expensive, up to the Mask of the Ganodermic and the Mask of the Eye Root, each at 135 million anima, makes them the most expensive items available from this minigame. So that's going to be it for this minigame, that's all I got. Leave a like if this helped, comment down below if you have any suggestions or if I missed anything. Um, I'll pin your comment if it helps, if I missed anything. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're bored, check out some of my other stuff. I do boss guides, quest guides, and event guides. Thanks.